Today's project has us replacing the ball bearings in a pulley. This pulley is actually what we utilized for Genoa. We feed the, the sheets back to the cockpit. We run back to the aft of the boat, stern of the boat, and then come forward. And they're in just horrible shape. So we're going to show you how we take one of these Harkin pulleys apart and replace the ball bearings on um, one of these. So uh, follow along. I think uh, this may be interesting. So we've, uh, we've disassembled uh, the bolts, removed them from the pulley, and what we're going to do is work over a lasagna pan. This one just happens to have some new ball bearings. Um, let's open this up, see what we have. So I'm going to take this out. Okay, so here's the actual pulley itself. Uh, we've got three screws here. Pull off. We'll get these out. And the reason we're working on the lasagna pan is going to become instantly obvious when we uh, disassemble. The type of bearings that are in here are ceramic nitride, I believe, or something similar to that. Uh, so they don't rust, but they were very expensive on Amazon. So we're going to go with stainless steel, which should last for a couple of years anyway. It's easy enough to take these apart um, if you do it on a regular basis. Okay, so here we have everything packed in here. Actually, these bearings look really, really good. Um, they're not actually broken. The last one I did, they were all broken. Uh, we may be able to uh, just take this apart and grease it and put it all back together again let's take a look at this we'll look at the other side as well so this is all going to fall apart when i lift it out and we'll look at the other side as we take it out and drop those in i think this may be the side that's a problem and Oh, look at that. No bearings on this side. These all fell out. They were in good shape. And none on this side. So we are going to have to add some new bearings. So we'll take out the inner pins. And to be honest with you, we actually do have some bearings that are worn. I don't know if the camera's really going to see this, but these two bearings are of a different size. They originally were the same size, but this one is corroded down to almost nothing. So they're out. It's good to have bearings all the same size on, on each side. Um, differentials and size are going to be problematic, so we'll install some new bearings. Get rid of these old ones. We're going to be using uh, some lithium grease, white lithium grease. There's no lubrication on them whatsoever. And add some grease to the track. Spread it with our official tool. And we don't have to be exact with this. The bearings themselves will even out the, the grease and distribute it as they roll. We do want to have a good layer in here. got 50 in here. I counted them all out and set to 10. And I'm going to drop in the lower plate, which will allow me to flip the entire unit carefully over. Okay. And now what we can do is grease the inner ring for the rollers. Okay, now we're just 
just gonna load up the rollers into the greased pit with the annular ring here. One of the other products I like to use when reassembling is some anti-seize dielectric grease, which goes on the threads of the screws to make my life easier. The next time I actually need to take this thing apart so that it does come apart. Much better. Okay, we have one completed pulley. We'll just reassemble that back into its into its mount, and we should be able to reinstall it back on the boat. And that's all there is to it. On to the next project. <laughs>